your Sam Lehman Sports Desk with Patrick Cunningham. Yesterday we feasted on turkey and today we get to do so on high school basketball. Tournaments galore this weekend and we're going to start at the Washington Tournament of Champions with a matchup of defending state champions. Defending 3A state champ Metamora taking on two-time defending South Carolina 2A winners, Gray Collegiate Academy. Redbirds down double digits. Tyler Mason gives them a spark, slamming home that dunk. Then moving on to Iowa commit Cooper Koch gets the pass from Luke Hopp and drains the three, and it wasn't his last either. Then a couple of timely buckets from Kendrick Schaefer as Gray started to focus on Mason and Koch. Speaking of Koch, how about another three? 29-point double-double for him tonight. His teammates in awe on the bench. He had a great night. Then Tyler Mason, he makes it a one-point game. Cuts from the opposite side. Hits the big three-pointer from the corner. Fourth quarter, final seconds. Mason, he's going to collapse to Luke Hopp. The floater gives the Redbirds their first lead of the game with 25 seconds to go. Then on the other end, Hopp, he gets the game-winning block. Redbirds come all the way back to win 59-57. Same tournament, Morton taking on Thayer High School out of Missouri. This was a defensive battle all game long. Tied game, late third quarter. Alex McKee with the three to give the Potters the lead. Next possession, final seconds of the same quarter. Wes Gudeman to Gus Rugard. This would double their lead to 37-31. Final minute of the game, Gudeman, absolute rejection of Thayer to seal the game. His friends loving it in the student section. Potters, the first ever champions of the Gray River Showdown. Peoria Notre Dame taking on Victory Christian, who traveled all the way up from Florida. Ted LaHood here, he's going to drive and find Elliot Lynch in the corner, 6'8 senior, knocking down the three. Then Caden Hudson, he's going to dish over to Tommy Graham. Nice drive to the basket for him, 18 points, six rebounds for him today. Then Hudson, he'll take a pass and get another assist, this time to Belmont commit Owen Dillon for three. 30 points for him. Irish led most of the way, but they fall at the end, 85 to 79. Washington with the nightcap against Hoover, the 7A Alabama State Champions. Panthers down one here when James Johnson hands it off to C.J. Duncan, the junior giving Washington the lead. Then Luke Kaminsky grabs the offensive board, kicks it out to Braden Vanderheit for three. He nails it, and his teammates pumped there on the sidelines. Moments later, Andre Lewis in transition, passes out to Kalinsky, hits a three of his own, crowd erupts, but Washington falls in a back-and-forth game 70-58. Morton girls hosting their holiday tournament. Potters taking on Champagne Central. Isabella Hutchinson passes down to Anna Ruxlow. Passes back to Addie Engel. She had the first seven Potters points of the game. Next possession, Morton comes out to Engel again out of a throw-in. She hits this three and would net 29 points in this game. Then Katie Brock to Hutchinson underneath. Nice pass here to Ellie Van Vanamian for three. Potters dominate 77-43. Richwoods facing East St. Louis in their first matchup of the day. Kyra Lee, she's going to make a nice save here. Elias Sp Spratling, excuse me, kicks it out to Cameron Hyder for three. 27 points for her in this contest. Then Spratling in transition, hits this layup. Knights, they are rolling in this one. Then Hyder with a dribble drive here. She's going to dish low to Brianna Hickman. Knights, they win 71-27. Peoria High facing Moline in their first game of the Dunlap Tournament. Aliyah Guyton, she signs for the Lions again. Full court pass from Simone Jackson to the rack. She splits the defense for two. Then an offensive board for Jordan Jakaya. She gets the assist off a of Guyton three. 30 points for the Iowa commit. Now Guyton with an assist. A tough finish here for Alana Jackson, but she gets it done for the and one. Lions win 70 to 32. Dunlap taking on Pleasant Plains in the second matchup of the evening. On defense here, Justice Cruz overrules this shot from the Cardinals, sending it back. Her friends in the stands loving the rejection. Cruz then passes to Kellis Moore. Kellis Morris squeezes to Julia Solberger for three. She had 25 points on the night. Some nice dimes from her, too. Up the court to Caroline Holmes. Eagles soar tonight 60-46 to over Pleasant Plains. Other boys winners tonight. Normal Community wins in the Inner City Tournament. They're now 3-0. Also, Tremont and Princeville winning out in Brimfield.